Warmer weather is here and the hot summer months are right around the corner. On today's Memphis Energize, we'll show you what to do to get the most out of your energy dollars during this cooling season. It's also the time of year for severe weather, and as we've just witnessed at the beginning of spring, that weather can be very unpredictable. We'll take a look at MLGW's storm restoration work and how the utility works to keep you safe during these uncertain times. Hello everyone, I'm Jane Siegel, and welcome to the May 2011 edition of Memphis Energized. Thanks for joining us, everyone. The Memphis area was hit by back-to-back -back storms in April that meant extra hours of work for MLGW crews. In addition, rising floodwaters caused great concern as home and business owners worried about the risk to their properties. But MLGW worked to keep customers and utility equipment safe. Here with more on the story is Memphis Energize's Tamara Nolan. Since the very beginning of April, MLGW and its customers have faced a number of challenges from Mother Nature, including thunderstorms, torrential rain, hail, tornadoes, and powerful straight-line winds. The first of several spring storms hit on April 4th, which left 71,000 customers without power and ranked as the fifth most damaging storm to MLGW's electric system in recent history. During this restoration process, MLGW replaced approximately 75 poles, pinpointed 140 locations that required replacement of primary electrical wire, and several hundred locations that required replacement of secondary wires. The utility also dispatched tree trimmers to 200 locations and replaced 23 transformers. Memphis was hit with yet another storm on April 19th with winds gusting up to 70 miles per hour and knocking out power to approximately 64,000 customers. And a third storm during the month of April left about 55,000 customers without power. As always, MLGW crews worked 24 hours a day, and during these storm restoration periods, they worked in 16-hour shifts. Because of the preparedness and commitment of MLGW's 2,700 employees, customers affected by these storms had their power restored within a week's time. When you're faced with a power outage, remember to call MLGW's 24-hour outage hotline at 544-6500. For the fastest service, please have your 16-digit account number or your account's phone number on hand when you call. For Memphis Energize, I'm Tamara Nolan. While these early spring storms hitting our service territory were very scary, an even bigger concern was that of rising floodwaters. Heavy rainfall and rising water from the Mississippi River caused flooding in parts of Shelby County. Here are a few tips to keep in mind if floodwaters threaten your area. If your home or business is experiencing flooding, call MLGW's Customer Care Center at 544-MLGW. That's 544-6549. And remember to stay away from anything electrical that may be in contact with water and also assume that electrical items are energized. Do not attempt to operate any electrical breakers or switches that are wet or underwater. For more tips and information on what to do in a flood or severe storm situation, visit MLGW's website at MLGW.com. When strong storms move through an area, they can cause trees and power lines to fall down and cause damage to homes and businesses. During the aftermath of a storm, customers are looking to get their homes and properties repaired. Well, the Better Business Bureau advises anxious customers looking to get their homes fixed as fast as possible to be on the lookout for two good-to-be-true deals from scammers. The Better Business Bureau suggests the following for dealing with storm damage. Be wary of door-to-door -door workers who show up unsolicited offering to make repairs. Check with your insurance company about policy coverage and specific filing requirements. Avoid being hasty. Don't be pressured into signing a long-term contract. Shop around for contractors, get competitive bids, and check out the contractor with the Better Business Bureau. For more tips on dealing with storm damage and contractors, log on to BBB.org. 
Making sure you're prepared for any situation that would leave you without utility service is essential. And here with what to pack in your emergency kit is Memphis Energize Roth Hondian. An emergency or disaster such as flooding, earthquake, or severe weather can happen at any time, leaving customers without power for any number of days. To be prepared for the worst, it's important for all customers to have an emergency plan and an emergency kit on hand. An emergency kit will contain those items that you'll need if your power is out for a few days, and most people already have many of the suggested supplies at home already. You'll need at least a three-day supply of food and water per person. Non-perishable foods are a must. Just look through your cupboard for things like canned tuna, peanut butter, cereal bars, bottled water, and drinks. You'll also need flashlights and extra batteries, a non-electric can opener, and eating utensils. A first aid kit, which includes bandages and medications including prescriptions and vitamins, and toiletries such as paper towels and tissue are also a must. It's a good idea to gather all these things into one central place so that you don't have to go searching in the aftermath of a storm. This list is by far non-exhaustive. For a complete emergency kit checkoff list, visit the Department of Homeland Security's website at ready.gov. Thanks, Roth. Well, the Internet, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube have taken ground as some of the fastest ways to communicate a message. And MLGW has not lost sight of that fact that these tools are useful for a utility company. On a daily basis, MLGW communication experts update and communicate with its customers through MLGW.com, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. That number grows during a storm situation, and many customers have come to rely on MLGW's social networking to get the answers to their questions. So if you haven't done so, join us at MLGW.com for a direct link to all of our social media. And speaking of instant access to information, MLGW just released its new iPhone app. The MLGW app allows customers access to a variety of utility-related information, including outage status and a new mobile-friendly outage map. One of the app's most useful features is the ability for customers to check the status of an outage at their address. Other features include the ability to make payment arrangements, find payment locations, and get energy tips. The app is available for free download in the Apple iTunes App Store at www.apple.com or through iPhone or iPad devices. To sign up for the app, customers will need the phone number associated with their MLGW account and the last four numbers of their social security number or their 16-digit account number. The weather is heating up and that means that we're all trying to keep cool. But the challenge is keeping cool without heating up our utility bills. Here with some wise saving tips is MLGW Energy Doctor Janice Smythe Toon. Hello, I'm Janice Smythe Toon with Memphis Energize, and I'm here today to tell you how to cut your energy cost for this summer. You've heard us say time and time again that you should set your thermostat at 78 degrees. Well, we still encourage that setting because any degree below 78 is costing you 6% more than you absolutely need. We encourage everyone to purchase a thermometer just to check to see what the room really is temperature wise because your thermostat may read 78 but due to windows bright sunshine it may be warmer than that so get you one of these they don't cost but very little and you can tell what the temperature is in each of your rooms now these come in particularly handy if you have window air conditioners. Window air conditioners are not thermostatically controlled like central air conditioners are. This way you can tell what the temperature is by the degrees in the room. Next we're going to talk about filters. This filter was neglected. It stayed in the system for six months. As you can see, all of the dirt and debris that's accumulated here, this is costing you money. It's causing stress on your system, it's causing it to work harder, and it's causing you to spend money that you don't necessarily have to do. 
We always recommend that every single month when you get your utility bill, be sure and take this filter out or put a new one in. A clean filter uh, makes a big difference on the efficiency of your central unit. Now you may have window units, they need their filters changed much more often, at least twice a month. The cleaner the filter, the more efficiency you're going to get out of your appliance. Another tip as far as staying comfortable during the summer without adjusting your thermostat downward is to wear all cotton, loose-fitting clothes that makes you feel so much more comfortable whether you're outside or whether you're inside. Along those lines, you may consider the blinds. The blinds, if they're closed, shade your body, shade your house, and keeps that radiant heat from coming inside. That radiant heat adds to the air conditioning load that it has to remove. So during those sunny days, close the blinds, the draperies, or the curtains to keep that cooling inside and not add to it with the sunshine. Another tip is to use your ceiling fans when you're at home. It actually makes you feel five degrees cooler than it is. It only cools you down, not the house. The moving air makes you feel much more comfortable at a higher temperature setting in your household. So always use them when you're home and not while you're away. For Memphis Energized, I'm Janice Smythe Tune. Along with putting the cool saving tips into place Janice just told us about, it's important that you have your air conditioning unit fully inspected each year so you're not caught in the middle of July without any air conditioning. Make an appointment with a reputable licensed HVAC specialist who can properly inspect and clean your unit or replace an older model for a newer, more energy efficient version. We sure have covered a lot in the first half of Memphis Energized. Stay tuned after this short break. Adding caulk around windows keeps the energy you use inside your home. Now caulk can be a little difficult to work with at first, but I think you'll enjoy its benefits. Now let's get down to some caulking business. Here's how. Start by scraping old caulk away from the window. Scrape pieces that are cracked and dried. What you want is a relatively smooth surface. Now it's time to load your caulk gun. To do this, cut the tip of the caulk tube at a 45 degree angle. You may also have to break a membrane inside the caulk. A long thin object will do the trick. Actually, I use a cake tester. Then place the tube in the gun and push the gun until it's tight. To caulk, place the tip in the corner and lay a steady bead of caulk where the window and house meet. Then run your hands over the bead to smooth it down into place. A damp towel will remove caulk that accidentally gets on your window or house. Now if you want to keep the caulk for a later time, simply place a nail in the tip. That should keep the caulk inside the tube moist so you can use it again. Put your thermostat at 78 and use energy saving functions on dishwashers, refrigerators and dryers. All of this will help you save energy. Find more at MLGW.com slash tips. Welcome back everyone. Safe digging practices aren't just for professional excavators. If you're a homeowner looking to do your own digging, MLGW has a few tips for you. We recently joined representatives of MLGW's gas department who shared safe digging practices at Safe Digging Day. For more on the event is Memphis Energize Dan Hope. MLGW took the message of safe digging practices to the streets by holding a Natural Gas Awareness Day. April was designated by Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam as Safe Digging Month, and MLGW honored the month by hosting gas safety information booths throughout Shelby County. MLGW representatives staffed booths at MLGW's community offices and local libraries to bring awareness to customers about gas pipeline safety and safe digging practices. Brent Haywood, manager of gas operations and engineering at MLGW, organized the event in an effort to inform customers of the need to practice safe digging. The, the, key, the key thing that we want customers to know about gas is that, that gas is a, it's a, it's a, one of the safest utilities that we have. 
the, the thing that we want people to know is, is that when you smell gas uh, in your house or outside, we want you to contact us and let us know where you smell the gas. Gas safety is especially relevant in the springtime when many homeowners and contractors engage in digging, excavating, landscaping, and gardening. Recent natural gas accidents around the country have placed more focus on the importance of public awareness of natural gas and pipeline safety. One of the most important aspects of safe digging is for customers to take advantage of the Tennessee One Call system. When customers call 811, all utilities, gas, water, electric, and cable and phone lines that are buried underground will be marked for free. Once marked, customers can then proceed with their digging projects. If you don't have an area marked appropriately before digging, you risk the danger of hitting underground lines, which include gas, electrical, and cable lines. So we pay attention to, to regulations and, and do engineering design to prevent customers from damaging facilities and ultimately potentially uh, harming themselves or their property or someone else's property. Haywood says that although MLGW encourages customers to take precautions because of the very nature of gas lines running below ground, that the system is indeed very safe. We have done a lot of work investigating and picking materials for our system that, that meet and exceed any standards. Most of the new pipe we install is either a high strength steel or high strength plastic pipe. Um, so we pick the best materials. We don't, we don't use uh, the, the second best. We ch choose the best materials to use in our system. Along with encouraging customers to practice safe digging, MLGW is also responsible for following federal government mandated regulations. Under federal guidelines, MLGW must ensure that contractors, emergency personnel, government officials, and ratepayers are aware of gas pipelines. MLGW's natural gas and digging safety communications aren't relegated to just one day. The utility communicates gas safety every day. This is a day, but we spend a better part of our day educating the community and making sure the community is aware of, of, of the safe and reliable and clean nature of natural gas. From Memphis Energized, I'm Dan Hope. With the price of gasoline hovering around the $4 mark, many consumers are looking for alternatives to paying high fuel costs. If you're in the market for a new car, stay tuned to this next story to find out how you can get the latest in innovation and energy efficiency. For more on MLGW's latest venture is Memphis Energize Tamara Nolan. Plug in and go? Could that be the future of automobiles? Some in the industry certainly think so, and consumers will soon see cars that they can simply plug into a socket for power. A partnership among the city of Memphis, MLGW, state and federal government and a California-based company, Ecotality, will see to it that residents of Shelby County have the option of buying electric cars. Memphis joined 17 other U.S. cities in installing infrastructure to support electric vehicles. MLGW's electric vehicle project manager, Rick Boker, says the project is closer to fruition than anyone could have ever thought. Uh, it's a $230 million uh, project to uh, analyze the effects of electric vehicles on our distribution network and to put charging stations out uh, in communities and to uh, provide those, you know, those resources so that uh, people can charge their vehicles away from home. The project is funded by a grant from the U.S. Department of Energy and private investments. Ecotality, a leader in clean electric transportation and storage technologies, will install charging stations throughout Shelby County that will allow electric car owners to charge up their cars. Even right now, Nissan's the only car manufacturer that's in the project. Uh, if you buy a Nissan LEAF, you can get a free charging station, a level two charging station, at your home. Boker says charging stations will be installed by September 2011. Uh, we'll install somewhere between 40 and 85 charging stations throughout Shelby County. Uh, been working with municipalities in Shelby County to identify where we're going to put those charging stations. Consumers wanting to make the change from gasoline-fueled cars to electric cars can go to their local Nissan dealership and order the Nissan LEAF. More car makers are in line to create their own electric vehicles in the very near future. An all-electric vehicle uses no gas whatsoever. Your plug-in hybrids still have a backup 
of gas, but if you plug it in and use your charger, you can use just electric to uh, charge that battery and, and very rarely, if ever, use that gas engine that's in those vehicles. You can save about $100 a month in fuel cost. And one of the things that's really great about electric vehicles is you're charged by your electric rate, what, it, what you pay on your utility bills, what you get charged. Well, that fluctuates very rarely where gas prices, like right now, gas prices are going up and down and they've gone up, 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 what, about 30 cents in the last couple of weeks. So you don't have those fluctuations in, in what the, the vehicle's gonna cost you. And there are incentives for buying an all electric car. If you buy now, as part of this Ecotality project, uh, right now the federal government gives you a $7,500 uh, deduction on your income tax. Also, the state's given a $2,500 rebate at point of sale at your dealership if you buy a Nissan LEAF and is in part of this project. For Memphis Energized, I'm Tamara Nolan. Thanks, Tamara. I can't wait to see those cute cars on the streets of Memphis. Attention MLGW commercial and business customers. If you are the owner or manager of a large or even small business, MLGW wants to help you make the most of your utility dollars. Here to explain how is Memphis Energized Candace Spicer. Time is money in the business world, so MLGW commercial and industrial customers need information that's quick, accurate, and user-friendly. If you are an MLGW business customer, these tips will help keep your utility bill current. To help prevent an avoidable interruptions in service, MLGW uses the latest in technology to stay in constant contact with customers. Business customers are encouraged to take advantage of these technology tools. If remembering to pay your bill is a problem, sign up for MLGW's Mobile Alerts program. Mobile Alerts customers are notified three business days prior to their billing due date and or schedule cutoff date if there is a balance due. Mobile Alerts is a fast and easy way to receive reminders about your bill. MLGW My Account is another program offered by MLGW that allows business customers to receive electronic bill statements. Business customers can make payments online via a checking account and can add multiple accounts and manage them all with a click of a mouse. Email reminders are also available. If business customers would prefer more traditional bill payment methods, automatic deduction is an option. With automatic deduction, your utility bill balance is deducted from your bank account each month. With this option, you are sure that your bill is paid on time each month. Lastly, customers can pay their bills by phone by calling 1-866-315-0277. Payments are posted within one hour if made before 3 p.m. Central Time, and this option is a convenient way to make last-minute payments. To sign up or for more information on these and other services, please visit www.mlgw.com. Business customers may call MLGW's Commercial Resource Center at 901-528-4270. Residential customers may call MLGW's Customer Care Center at 901-544-6549. For Memphis Energized, I'm Candace Spicer. MLGW just added the MoneyGram Express payment service to its roster of payment options. MoneyGram enables customers to make cash payments on their utility bill at more than 100 Memphis area locations, including Walmart and CVS pharmacy stores. The payment is posted to the account within 30 minutes. MLGW customers now have more options when paying their utility bills. And did you know that you can now make MLGW payments online free of charge? Through MLGW's electronic bill paying service, residential customers can use Visa, MasterCard credit or debit card, Discover, ATM, debit card or checking or savings account. Customers can use any of these payment methods at no additional cost. In order to take advantage of these improved services, all users making payments online must have a My Account login ID and password. And the new system makes it much easier for customers to set up paperless billing and recurring payments or make a one-time payment. Sign up today at MLGW.com. 
Are you looking for a speaker for your classroom, community group, church, or civic organization? MLGW representatives are available to speak on a variety of utility-related topics such as energy conservation, safety, careers, and more. To request a speaker for your group, contact MLGW's Community Relations Department at 528-4820 or log on to MLGW.com and fill out a speaker's request form. For the best availability of speakers, advance requests are are highly recommended. Are you up for the challenge? Well, MLGW is. Well, what challenge, you might ask? MLGW is issuing a challenge to its customers in an effort to improve nighttime safety. MLGW Streetlight Challenge gives the utility one week to fix common streetlight outages, or the utility will name the streetlight after the first person who reports the outage. Customers can report a streetlight outage at MLGW.com or by calling MLGW's Customer Care Center at 820-7878. When reporting online, please fill in all information asked for, including a callback number, just in case the utility has any questions. An accurate address and the poll number, the number found on a metal plate about eye level on the pole, are vital to ensuring repairs are made. Common repairs to street lights will be made within seven days, or the street light will be named after the first customer to report it. Do you ever open your MLGW bill and find you have a question about your fire, sanitation, sewer, storm water, or mosquito or rat control services listed on the statement? If so, then make sure you call the correct number for help instead of MLGW. The phone numbers for these municipal services are listed on your MLGW bill for your convenience. MLGW lists the fees for these services on your bill to minimize municipal billing costs as well as return postage for customers. However, MLGW does not administer those services. It simply collects the fee payments and passes them on to the corresponding municipal organization. MLGW is ready to assist you in the event of an emergency. To help keep MLGW's emergency line clear for those life-threatening situations, customers are reminded to use 528-4465 only for emergencies. MLGW deemed emergencies are considered things such as gas leaks, downed electric wires, broken water mains inside a building, or unsafe street barricades. Now, if you need to stop, start, or transfer service, call MLGW's Customer Care Center at 820-7878 anytime, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Any other account inquiries can be addressed by calling 544-MLGW. For your safety and to protect our employees, Please remember to use caution when driving in a utility work zone. These zones located throughout the city don't have to be dangerous if you use caution. Many times you will see crews working near streets and highways when installing gas mains or working on overhead or underground power lines. Utility work zones are clearly marked with signs or work zone flaggers, so please pay attention. And remember, speed limits may be reduced in work zones. Thanks for helping to keep our employees safe so we can do the best work for you. We have covered quite a lot in this edition of Memphis Energized, and I hope you've learned a lot and will join us next time. Until then, I'm Jane Siegel. Thank you for watching, everyone.